I sort of got into poster collecting by accident. I was a union leader, and by virtue of that, I would attend some national and international conferences, and people would bring posters from their organization or their country, and there were some pretty interesting posters, so I would grab one of each and bring them home. After a while, I had probably a couple of hundred posters in my attic that I wasn't looking at and no one else was getting to see. So I uh, tried to raise some money, uh, some unions helped me with that uh, to get me started, and uh, got inexpensive frames to frame the posters and created some exhibits from that, uh, including this one here today, which is International Women's Posters, International Women's Day posters, I should say. Um, part of this exhibit is also at the Hanover Libraries and the uh, East uh, Bridgewater Libraries. And uh, I also create other exhibits like workers' struggles, green politics, anti-apartheid posters, things like that. And I've been doing this now for probably about 15 years. One of the ways that I've collected them is from uh, on vacation traveling to some different cities around the world. And before I go, I identify uh, unions and other organizations that I want to go to to ask for posters. And so through that, uh, I've met some really nice people, uh, had some really good experiences, uh, experienced a culture that I never would have just doing the typical tourist uh, visits. And um, just one example, I was uh, in Istanbul and uh, went to an organization um, where a woman said, oh, a friend of mine who works for a union would be really like to meet you. And so she uh, introduced us and he invited me to his union office where they gave me a number of posters, a couple of which are in the exhibit here today. I have these bits and pieces of posters, not the posters themselves, but uh, posters that represent bits and pieces from different periods of time from a lot of different countries. So uh, it's a little hard to analyze how in a, in a particular country uh, the, the techniques have changed. I think obviously with uh, more contemporary uh, printing ability uh, for less money, uh, the posters, the materials that are used, the things are not uh, as expensive and therefore not as rich. It also depends on the art. Some of the posters uh, were produced by unions for a particular event and weren't meant to be collector's items. Uh, they were just thrown away at the end of the event, um, so they weren't uh, produced very expensively. So it's a, it's a range of uh, uh, techniques they've used uh, that in the posters I've acquired. These posters, for the most part, pretty much reflect my life. Um, as a union activist uh, and a political activist, uh, I've been involved in a number of different political issues, including the anti-apartheid movement, uh, the struggle for women's rights, uh, the labor movement, obviously, uh, environmental issues. And so those are the kind of exhibits I'm doing. I, I mentioned some of the titles of the exhibits, but I would also expand that to Cuban political posters, uh, an exhibit of diversity, in this particular exhibit, I would say probably the oldest are maybe 20 years old, but I have posters going back to 100 years old, uh, not so many, and uh, they get more plentiful as we approach uh, modern times. Well, uh, unfortunately, some organizations and people have not taken great care of the posters. They really didn't attach much significance to them. They might have liked them at a time, but then they sort of got cast off. So I have acquired some that I had to be very careful with because they were deteriorating. Uh, they had some tears in them, which I tried to repair. Um, and so for me, it's an act of love to try to protect these posters. And then once, of course, they're framed like this, which not all of the posters I have are, but that gives them some more protection. A couple of posters here from an organization called the Wor uh, Working Women's Organization in Pakistan and they sent me over a period of few years some really beautiful posters on International Women's Day and on May Day. Unfortunately the organization like so many succumbed to infighting and dissolved and that was the end of my poster supply from there. Uh, there's a poster behind you over there on the wall <coughs> that's from Ireland and I acquired that from a woman who uh, actually made the poster. She was a member of the Workers Party in Ireland and she told me a story when I met with her how uh, the British military during the, the Troubles in Ireland uh, raided her house. Her husband was a poster collector and they stole all of his posters and so she doesn't have very many left. But uh, uh, those are some of the posters in this exhibit that uh, really mean something to me. The, I've been doing exhibits now for about 15 years as I mentioned, mostly at public libraries and the response has been very, very good, very favorable. 
Uh, once in a while there's somebody who complains to the library uh, about a particular poster in the exhibit, but I always feel I'm doing something wrong if somebody doesn't complain about it because uh, the posters um, take a particular political position on various issues. Uh, this exhibit will be up for a month and I would be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, I also, this exhibit is continued in two other libraries, the East Bridgewater Library and the Hanover Library for the same length of time. Uh, there are other posters on the theme of International Women's Day. Uh, this particular exhibit in this library, um, I received funding from the local cultural council to help pay for some of the materials involved in the uh, exhibit. Um, I don't have a studio. I do have an email address and I send out a monthly email to right now probably about 2200 people uh, with flyers for the exhibits coming up for that following month. Uh, my email, if anyone uh, would like to be on the email list, is Lewis, my last name, which is L-E-W-I-S, posters, plural, at gmail.com. And uh, no, I keep the, I store the uh, posters in my attic. Uh, a lot of them are not framed, so they don't take up very much space. And I do have a Facebook page, which is labor slash progressive posters 